please understand that weight is the gravitational force between an object and the planet. That object will continue to have the same weight regardless of whether or not it's submerged. Oh, and another thing, the buoyant force on a submerged object only depends upon the volume of that object and has nothing to do with the object's weight. All this to say, any submerged object has two distinct forces acting upon it, the downward force of weight and an upward buoyant force. When the weight is greater than the buoyant force, the object sinks. Here we have a submerged box full of rocks. The weight is greater than the buoyant force, so it sinks. Let's replace the rocks with some marbles. Here, the weight is less than the buoyant force, so it rises. Let's replace the marbles with some water. Again, the weight is less than the buoyant force, so it rises. Let's add some more water to increase the weight, shall we? Still, the weight is less than the buoyant force, so it rises. Hmm, but not as quickly. Let's fill the entire box with water. <laughs> Aha! Here we have a special case where the weight and the buoyant force are equal and opposite. So the box hovers in equilibrium. We call this neutral buoyancy. Here we're playing around with the weight of the object. You can also play around with the volume. Scuba divers know that exhaling their breath causes them to sink. Why? Because doing so decreases the volume of the chest cavity. To rise, the scuba diver takes in a deep breath to expand their volume and thus increase the buoyant force. Fish rely on internal air bladders to do much the same thing. Good energy. Mm -hmm. 